A former high school star and CFL player is the new head coach of the Kamloops Broncos. Brad Yamoka was named on Monday to take over from Duncan Oltheus, who stepped aside two weeks ago, citing his work commitments with the Kamloops Sports Council. Then guess who again? Brad Yamoka finds all the room he'll need, goes 27 yards for the major score, and the Red Devils have a 20-6 lead. Brad Yamoka was a star running back for the Cam High Red Devils in their last BC High School football championship season in 1990. He later went on to play for BC and Winnipeg in the CFL. Yamoka has been involved with the Broncos since they came into the BC Football Conference, and now beginning with the 2015 season, he'll be in charge of the on-field product. As a coach, you, you have to work twice as hard or even even harder as a coach than you ever did as a player. And uh, uh, I figured that out very quickly after, uh, you know, stepping into coaching high school after I retired. Yamoka says he'll draw from the experience he had as a high school player at Cam High, then the CFL, and as a high school coach in Vernon, as well as what he's learned in working with different coaches with the Broncos. The motivation, I mean, you know, that was the one thing we had playing here in Cam High for all those years. Uh, coach Otheus was uh, one of the best motivators around, and uh, I think, you know, you can take a little bit of that experience, experience of uh, knowledge of the game that I've gone through uh, throughout the years coaching, you know, coaching in the high school and playing at a, at a high level. The Broncos are coming off their best season in franchise history, going 6-4 and four and finishing third and very nearly upsetting powerhouse Langley in the playoffs. Yamoka says the Broncos have elevated themselves out of the lower level in the league, and now it's a matter of continuing to build on what Duncan Oltheus has done as the head coach. He did a great job. He recruited uh, the right kids in, and uh, you know, over the years, uh, it's been a struggle uh, because obviously, when you you have losing seasons, uh, it's hard to bring in those those top kids and. Uh, I think he's done a great job of assembling a group of kids that have bought into what we're trying to do. It's about a competitive program that gives the players an opportunity to go on to another level, such as CIS, U.S. College, and even to pro football. And in case you were wondering, yes, Brad Yamoka still keeps a close eye on the CFL. Who do you like for the Great Cup on Sunday and why? <laughs> well, Calgary looked pretty good. Um, you know, being a Western... Uh, guy for for much of my career I'll have to go with Calgary but um, it won't be a cakewalk I don't think I mean Calgary looks strong and uh, you know they got the home home court advantage so to speak I think uh, in this one and uh, you know what when you can run the football it's uh, at this time of year it's always a good thing but mind you it's in a dome so <laughs> it might not be as a big a factor